During our first video lesson, we learned that a force is a push or a pull. Here is an example of someone pushing and another example of someone pulling. Balanced forces are equal in size and they are opposite in direction. Balanced forces on objects that are not moving cause the object not to move. It does not cause any motion to the object. The object just sits there. In this example, students are pushing against one student and she is not moving. Just like the dogs in the background are pulling, but there is no movement happening. These are two examples of balanced forces. Unbalanced forces are not equal in size. They could be in opposite directions or in the same direction. An unbalanced force acting on an object that is not moving will cause the object to move, as in this example. For objects that are moving, unbalanced forces will cause the object to speed up or slow down or change direction. In this example, you can see a student sliding across the floor and being affected by another force and changing their direction. An unbalanced force can also cause an object to stop. In this example, you see the moving object being stopped by another student. A net force is the overall force acting on an object. Think of it as the total force. When forces are in the same direction, we add the forces together in order to calculate the net force. In the next example, you can see that there are two people pushing on a box. If one person is pushing on the box with 5 newtons and another person is pushing on the box with 5 newtons, then we add the two forces together. 5 newtons plus 5 newtons gives us 10 newtons and the box will move towards the right. If the forces are opposite from each other, then we subtract the forces. In this example, one person is pushing towards the right with 5 newtons and another person is pushing towards the left with 7 newtons, then the net force will be 2 newtons. The box will move towards the left with 2 newtons of force.